So here we um, start to look at answering questions about normal distributions. And typically we'll be given a mean and a standard deviation and asked to find a probability or values between the range. We write that in our proper terminology. The probability that our unknown is between 18 and 23 is and we turn on our graphics calculator. In the stats menu we are looking for a distribution and it's the normal distribution and we want the normal cumulative because it's for a range. So that leaves us with four parameters we have to fill in. The lower bound of our range which is 18 in this case. The upper bound of our range which is 23 so that's asking us to asking the calculator to find the probability between 18 and 23 and then we have the sample standard devi deviation 8 and the mean 23. We execute that and there's our answer the probability p the probability is equal to 0 0.2340 23.4% and you can ignore this Z value what this is telling you is the Z for the lower bound and the Z for the upper bound anyway 23.4% and that gives us our answer now um, in a situation that we would normally face we have it in context so we have fish in a lake with a, a mean weight and a standard deviation really the context doesn't matter even the slightest bit so we have what is the probability a fish will weigh between 20 and 30 grams. So once again on the graphics calculator, exit back up. And this time we're going to be finding with these parameters our mean, our standard deviation, and that's our range. So our range is now 20 to 30. Our standard deviation is now 5.3. And our mean is 24.5 and our probability is 0.65 some decimal places the lower bound that's 20 is 0.849 standard deviation below the mean and the upper one is above but again that doesn't particularly matter what matters is it's 65.23 percent and so we stick our answer in 65.24 rounded and uh, that's pretty much how it works this time we'll um, try it again this has the same weight and standard deviation but it's the probability of fish will weight over 30 grams so now our lower bound is 30 grams and our upper bound is some number sufficiently large that we have no problems um, there's no probability that anything's bigger than that so we have lower bound 30 upper bound basically infinity with the same parameters of mean and standard deviation and we calculate those and our probability is 14.969 10.97% and so we would enter that value in the answer as it was. And then there's one more thing to bear in mind and that's um, if we ask for a very small question, a very low end question, what is the probability of fish will weight less than 12 grams, then we have to bear in mind that the lower bound is not zero it's negative because there's a probability extending into zero for normal distribution being infinite and so we go from a very large negative number to the upper bound which is 12 and our sigma and mean have stayed the same and our probability is given here p 9.1747 and then you have to know what you calculate means e to the minus 0, 0, 0.3 is e times 10 to the minus 3 and uh, you really really have to know that 
times 10 to the 9.17 times 10 to the 1 to 3 and that is 0.92% you can get your non-graphics calculator out if you need to and that basically gives us all the achieved questions on finding the probability within a range we have a lower bound and an upper bound and we can set them to be either negative or positive infinity if the range is endless in one direction we need to the sigma the standard deviation and the mu the mean and we execute to get our answer.